Hey, it's Jackie, and welcome back to my channel for this Denise Richards inspired 90s makeup tutorial. I've been getting a lot of requests to do her look in Wild Things, and I hadn't seen the movie, but I kept seeing photos flying around Pinterest and Instagram, so I finally watched and studied the makeup, and I love the universally flattering brown smoky eye, and then she wears different lip combos, so I thought it was perfect for summer. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture videos every week, and this video is sponsored by Armani Beauty and Sephora. So if you like any of the products that I'm using today, just check them out in the down bar. I always list everything and link out to the products, and I've always been a fan of Armani Beauty foundation range but I hadn't tried a whole bunch of their products and I did for this video and I have some new holy grails so hopefully you enjoy seeing these products in action let's get into the video I have started out with a spray tan and I'm wearing a wig it's by Raquel Welch and the shade is honey pecan in the miles of style line so I will have it linked down below and I didn't have to cut it at all and to make this look last all day after my skincare routine with moisturizer eye cream all that jazz I'm then adding the rare beauty pore diffusing primer throughout the center of the face and the first Armani Beauty product that I've already shown on my channel quite a bit is the Luminous Silk Perfect Low Flawless Oil-Free Foundation. I used this in the Ariana Grande inspired bridal makeup tutorial, and today I'm using shade 5.75, which is light to medium and has a golden undertone. This foundation is buildable but starts off medium coverage, has a glowing skin-like finish, and if you're looking for higher coverage, I would recommend the Power Fabric Long Wear High Cover Foundation, also from Armani. But this one is perfect for summer if you want to wear something a bit heavier than a tinted moisturizer that has coverage but still gives a skin-like finish. And the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Face and Under Eye Concealer in the shade 4 blends out beautifully into this foundation, adds again some medium coverage so I'm building this under the eyes, and then adding a touch of brightness on my chin, cheekbones, and jawline as well as above my brows, and I love that it's hydrating. For blush, I tried the Armani Beauty Neo Nude A-Line Liquid Blush, and this one is amazing. I ordered the shade Raspberry, which goes great with this polka dot top look. I thought the shade looks super similar to Kelly, and it's a water-based liquid color that fuses with skin, so it was very easy to blend, and it doesn't make the foundation that we've already applied become patchy or lift up, and a lot of cream blushes I do find tend to do that, so I will be using this one quite a bit more, and I applied it through the apples of the cheeks and then patted kind of up and down the cheek area for a natural looking flush. Now that we have the cream liquid products complete, let's set with powder. To keep it radiant, this is the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Glow Setting Powder. A tip for setting your makeup with powder is to add a bit to your brush and then lightly dust downwards. Under the eyes, I like to pat and never like swipe anything, but some powder going downwards creates a soft diffused look and I don't shave my face or anything, so I find pressing the product down kind of helps with peach fuzz rather than buffing in circular motions. Of course, in celebrity-inspired makeup tutorials, I like to do some subtle contouring to help me look a little bit more like the celebrity I'm recreating, so I'm contouring a sharper jawline, accentuating my chin, and then for the nose contour, Denise Richards has such a cute nose, so I am slimming my bridge slightly, connecting the bridge closer together and up into the brows, adding some shadow from there into the eye socket for more depth. Once I've added in some contours, I really like to blend in with my finger and pat along so nothing is too harsh. And then for some big natural looking brows, I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 5, and I'm filling in the head of my brow to be a bit higher, and then accenting the arch. I have more strays through the tail, but I'm just going to brush them up and leave them. and then setting the brows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Gel, which is my favorite. For the eyes, we're doing a really simple matte brown smoky eye that's great for every day and flattering on everybody. I'm using the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette and I love the brown shades in here. I used a mix of these two browns all over the lid, then start to deepen up the look with a neutral brown in the outer and inner portion of the lid. With the lightest shade in the palette, brighten up around the brows. I just felt like mine were a bit too harsh at the head of the brow. And then with a warmer tone medium brown, apply through the crease and into a slight V shape to taper it out. My eyes are quite a bit larger and rounder, so instead of dragging that crease shape into the crease, I'm lowering it onto the lid a bit to cut down the lid space. 
smoking out the outer portion of the bottom lash line. Hers was a bit more smoky, but again, my eyes are quite a bit rounder, so if I add too much smoke underneath, it kind of enhances the roundness more. So I'm going with a lighter hand, but it's up to you how much you wanna smoke out for your eye look. With a dark brown eyeliner, apply to the waterline from the tear duct through the outer portion of the eye, as well as on your upper lash line. For this look, we're not gonna wing it out, but keep it more subtle. And then with a small blending brush, blend that liner into the matte brown shadow so it's soft and looks worn in. Back with Armani Beauty, this is the Eye Tint Long Lasting Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade 46 and it's called Halo. I love this taupe shade, it has a metallic finish, really picks up the light, makes the eyes sparkle. We're not going to use too much mascara for this look, but this is the Eyes to Kill Lengthening Mascara by Armani Beauty in Black. This is a buildable mascara, but I'm doing one coat and then just touching on the bottom lashes. Now for lips, as you can see, I have the textured hair. I'm wearing the red polka dot top, similar to the film, though I thrifted mine. It's not the exact one, and Armani has such gorgeous lip products. Here is the Lip Power Long Lasting Satin Lipstick and this fuchsia pink is called 506 Brave. And when I was patting this on, it is literally the perfect shade. I was so excited about it. And now that the world is opening up again, it's time to play with lip color and it has a bit of glossiness. So I love that on the lips. It always makes them look really healthy and it's comfortable to wear. I really love the Lip Power Long Lasting Satin Lipsticks and stay tuned for another swatch and another look from the movie. And again, all these products, including these gorgeous lipsticks, will be linked in the description as well as pinned in the top comment like all my other videos, so be sure to check it out if you're looking for a luxurious lip product. And finally, to recreate some highlight to the face like it's a hot Florida summer day, we're using the Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer Highlighter. Dabbing on my chin, nose, cheekbone, and this is a champagne gold shade. For the pop culture password, comment Kelly wins in the hair department because seriously, her hair is so cute throughout the movie. Like I said, I am wearing a wig to get this look because my hair is all one length that reaches like to my hip bones at this point, but gosh, I love these layers. And I couldn't find the exact products used or who the makeup artist was in this 90s movie, so this is just my take on the look. And that brings me to the next lip swatch. So this is another outfit that I thrifted inspired by the movie. We have these cut off 90s shorts. Kelly was wearing full pants and they were really cute. These are a little bit awkward, but a very similar print, a crop top and then a little scarf. And for this lip combo, I wanted to go with a beautiful pink. And this is such a fun summer lip color, especially if you like natural makeup looks on the skin and on the eyes, and then you have the comfort of a balm with lots of pigment and the long wear of a stain. And I filmed this look that you're seeing right now live on my Triller live stream that I do every Thursday, so some of you guys might have already seen that version of this look, so let me know in the comments if you were able to tune in. If you're looking for more 90s beauty inspiration, I did do a faux blowout that was also inspired by Denise Richards, but I did use some extensions and um, just a flat iron, so if you want to check that out, I have it linked. And then another kind of 90s inspired makeup look that you might like if you like this one that's a bit deeper is Margot Robbie in the Wolf of Wall Street. So I hope you'll keep on watching and I'll see you in my next video.